Hey y'all, welcome to Little Bucket Fishing. I'm Nick. And this is Joe. We're, uh, where are we at, Joe? We are at Opal Beach. We're at Opal Beach today. Um, gonna do a little bit of beach fishing, uh, surf fishing, see if we can't catch, I really don't know. Just gonna throw some lines out, see what's out there. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys enjoy my content, feel free to hit that uh, subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. And so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get into it. All right, first one we're uh, we're rigging up here. I'm rigging up to be try to catch a pompano. Maybe really want to get a ladyfish because we want to get these big. We want to get these uh, the big hooks on some big baits. See if we can't catch something a little bit bigger than pompano like we have been. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast this big boy out there. And we let it sit. So you guys have probably already seen this somewhere. If you guys are, uh, if you follow Fishgum, he's a really smart dude. He actually took a underwater fish camera and he cast it out with a pompano rig because he wanted to know what was happening. And what he found out was, was the reason why the catfish kept biting on his pompano rigs were because the bait was laying on the floor of the, of the surf. So, an easy fix for that and the reason why it happens as you can see here say my weights here i've rigged this up but if you've got a long tag what will happen is when you cast this float will come down here and then now your bait sinks and it can't rise so an easy fix for it let's take a toothpick stick it into the end here and now you can't now it doesn't fall down um, I didn't have any toothpicks, so I just picked up a piece of wood I found on the ground and I put it in there. So, learned that one from fish gum. <coughs> so, thank you for that, fish gum. We got one. Pompey. Oh, blue runner? Might be a blue runner. Nope, it's a pompano. Fish one of the day is a pompano. That's a fat boy. Measure him up here. Twelve and a half. All right, so we only caught one pompano. Not a successful day fishing, but I wasn't really expecting to catch too many fish today. I was just gonna catch like two or three and then go home anyways. So we're gonna do kind of a like a blackened pompano. I don't really know what you would call it. I just, I know I like it. So wanted to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and uh, look at what we got. So our first thing obviously is gonna be our pompano. This is just one fish. Um, I always cut the bloodline out of it. That's why there's four pieces of fish here. Take one lemon, cut it in half and we'll put the juice in. A Little bit of chili pepper, black pepper, and lemon pepper. First things first, we're gonna take our lemon juice and just squeeze it over the fish. Now you don't want it to sit in there too long, otherwise it's just gonna taste like you're eating lemon. So leave it in there for like a couple seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Don't let it marinate in it. All right, so we got our pieces here. So first things first, I'm gonna take some lemon pepper. It, not too much. Then we'll take 
chili powder. I'm gonna take the lid off this chili powder. Just like so. And then our black pepper. Flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. The oil's already ready, so we're gonna go ahead and get it in the pan. Alright, these little guys are definitely done. Our big ones are about done. So it's nice and flaky. Alright, that one fell apart pulling it out. It's definitely done. Alright, and there is our final product. So that's it for the catch and cook y'all really hope you enjoyed this episode this pompano is really good uh it's got the the perfect little spice it's still got the lemon it's still got the pompano in it you can taste it all so if you guys want to go ahead and try it out with your next pompano i promise you you will not be disappointed uh but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode overall and if you did, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. There's a little notification bell next to it. Go ahead and click that as well. That'll turn your notifications on so you can see when I post my content. And if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I want you all to know that I appreciate each and every single one of you that gets on here and watches my videos. So until next time, tight lines.